what's up guys welcome to another let's go to work episode the steve the gamer edition of course let's get started now we up early in the morning man uh, and uh we do have a couple of things to do as far as like going to school and trying to get things done today man and we do have the uh one of the job that we have to do so you know i'm, I'm gonna just let it be a surprise of course and but right now let's get started let's see what we can actually get into i mean do they have anything in the fridge over here I don't even think I can actually eat here, bro. <laughs> We're gonna have to eat out today. So we gotta bring this Lambo back. Um, you know, it's early in the morning. Why not? I won't have to deal with no traffic. And plus, we don't have school till like around 11 or something like that. So let's see what we can actually get into. And uh, I guess this Lambo stay right here. We gotta take this back. Yes, he, he brought it back over here, too. Which one would you drive? Like, if you had a chance to drive all these cars, which one would you pick first? <laughs> Early in the morning, let's hurry up, man. All right, so the location is right over here. Let's go drop this off. So, most of you guys, I mean, there's a lot of you guys that were asking for a Hellcat because I haven't built a Hellcat on this car so long. And let's go to work like that. Best to bring it back. Let me see. It's so loud. Either we'll, we'll give it like a Hellcat or a Matata. We got some options right now, man. And uh, they try to lose the whole race, man. The last race, the game gave up on us, man. That was a quick, almost three G. last time we're dropping this off that we won't drive this anymore all right so you guys were saying hellcat or the mclaren i think i will pick the mclaren over the hellcat maybe we'll drop the hellcat next time all right oh maybe that lamp over there i don't even know which car to pick now let me let me hear what the hellcat sound like though most of the cars i think i'm gonna have to open the door with mania yeah most of the doors are locked so just like right now, guys, we are using Mania. Let's uh, unlock the door for this. All right, since this is locked, you know, when it's locked with somebody else's keys, you can't just open it like that. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, does do they have the rev limiter? It's not like they have the rev limiter. No way. I mean, we could drive this. Hold up, wait a minute. Oh, we could drop the McLaren. 
Let me hear what the McLaren sound like. Um, I think I have to make sure it's not frozen in place too. I'm using menu. If you guys wondering what menu that I'm using right now, and also we have to unlock the doors. You guys wondering what menu that I'm using? All right, so I can, we kind of have to lock this. We'll put the keys back in a minute. All right, McLaren, what you sound like? Imagine pulling up in school with a McLaren like this. Ooh, that's even louder. All right, I'm not gonna do this too loud. That's even louder. All right. Yeah, we'll drop this another day. I already, I already got you guys with the Ferrari. That was enough. That was, I mean, not the Ferrari, but the Lambo. All right. What about this? What does it sound like? I, I think it had a different sound. We were here just checking out which cars. I mean, we haven't car problem today. <laughs> we don't know which car we want to drive, man. All right. So let me make sure. So the doors can actually look right. Imagine pulling up with that, though. Oh, this is the worst sound. Come on, that don't sound like no V12, man. All right, once we update the sound for this, we'll drive it. But right now, this ain't it. This ain't it, bro. Let's see what the Porsche sound like. Okay. A Porsche. <laughs> All right, so enough with that. Well, I guess let's drive the Hellcat. Um. This is like I promised some of you guys were asking for the Hellcat. Like when when are we gonna drop the Hellcat? So we'll take the Hellcat out and then I guess we'll bring it back. I mean, I feel like I'm I could be more responsible for a Hellcat than anything else in here. Oh, I forgot that locked the door. Yeah, even that Galado, man. Um those things are expensive, man. Yeah. We could do the Hellcat today. Oh man. Look at that. Somebody look at this. All right, so we out of here. Um, did I just go to school first? Oh, oh I forgot the, the Hellcat so low. All I hear is that wine, bro. I forgot this Hellcat is fast too. Oh, these guys stay bothering these people, man. This is a different sound. All right, but anyway, guys, um, I'm, you know what? I think our school don't start to like 11. So I wanted to do the the other job, but let's see. Let's, oh my goodness! Let's hurry up. That was close, man. So I usually have to check on the those apartment. So let me see if um. Once we check on the apartment and stuff like that, which was something that I used to um, help out a friend that was a uh, he was a landlord and stuff like that, and he he used to pay me too. Like when I say like yo side hustles always like come up for me, like especially for vacations and stuff like that. I always had some side some type of side hustle, bro. Oh, yo, what is wrong with that? You all, man. Any damage? I mean, taking a sign in real life would have definitely damaged this. But what was wrong with that U Haul, bro? Yeah, what's wrong with you, man? Cut me off like that. What's up, man? Oh, you don't want to talk now. Can we win a race with this, though? I think tonight, then no, we'll, we'll check it out. All right, so guys, those are Pop Max. We got to check it out. See if I actually remember where they are exactly. <laughs> we, at least we don't have to do valley parking today, though, man. I don't know. I think I might have to update this Hellcat sound too. This is my older game version. We're definitely gonna have to um, update that. Oh, there was a job available for stock worker too. We might have to do that. Let me see. If they, these apartments are still around. I gotta check them out, making sure everything is good. But other than that, we gotta keep it keep it moving and I got class in like maybe a couple hours. Let me confirm the schedule though. You know, we'll be thinking like we got the right schedule. Dude, come on, man. 
We'll be thinking we got the right schedule when we don't have the right schedule. Alright, good job, detail. Alright, class start at eleven thirty, guys. Oh my goodness, this is okay, Sulo. Alright, so class start at eleven thirty. Um I don't know how long the stockbroker uh job is. Oh, if they if, even if they will hire us. So we don't have time for that right now. All right, so guys, what I used to do is just check on the land, um, check on the property, making sure everything is uh, good, and then just keep it moving. I get, I, I remember getting a check like that every month. All right, so I mean, I didn't have to go inside of people's um, places, but let's check out some of these properties. I just bought a Bro, pair of gaming glasses. That look yep. crazy. You know they doing some illegal stuff up in here. Is there some people in here? Oh my goodness! Yep. Yep. All right. I mean, I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say I nothing. Totally I didn't see nothing. Did you guys see anything? I didn't see nothing. What about this apartment over here? But you guys, let me know which one is your favorite. I remember living up in here, man. This is nice, though. This is nice. This is nice. What a balcony, though. The, some of these apartments do have balconies. We're right there from the school. Let me hurry up. You know, we're just gonna like run through these apartments. You, you guys know what the bathroom look like. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up, cause I I'm trying to be in uh, in class on time today, bro. All right. Oh, these guys are home. How you doing? How y'all doing, Hi. man? Y'all good? Oh man, that's just. I mean, hey man. I'm gonna just keep it moving. It's 10:30. I'm gonna try and leave at least by 11. 11:15, the latest. I don't think I will make it by 11:15, yo. I mean, this is not so much of a mess, though. What you guys think? Let me know which apartment number. As you get, wait, wait, wait. I thought they had the apartment number on the side. They don't. All right, which floor? All right, this apartment is available, so it most likely is is empty. Yep. Bro, when I say the time is going fast, the time is going fast. I'm not even gonna be able to show you guys uh, everything. That's the next. Wait, wasn't this apartment we live in? Nah, nah, that's actually better than ours. Bro, I gotta leave. I gotta leave. Could this be the last floor? Yo, I'm not leaving at 11, bro. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, this person have a gem and a basketball. <laughs> Yo, I can actually who? All right, I think this was us for a while. This is not the YouTube one. All right, so guys, we're gonna have to come back. I'm trying not to be late right now. All right, we're gonna have to come back, and I'll show you guys the last floors. Come on, man, steps, bro. Are we gonna make it on time? We left by 11. I mean, we didn't leave yet. Not until we get in the car. When we start the car, that's when we leave in. So I say 11. No, not even, yo. Why so many floors, yo? Come on. 11:15, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The school's right there. I ain't gonna make it, guys. Now this teacher about to get on me again, bro. Can we ever make it on time? Yeah, this this is like 10 seconds, bro. This Hellcat ain't that fast, bro. I'm about to be late. Oh man, all right. We late for school again. Game time is not fair. Game time is definitely not fair, bro. It's 11:30. I'm late. I'm officially late now. Bro, come on, man. 11:31. Let's hope you don't have no jokes. I mean, we always have the 15 grace period, though. What you, what you guys think? You think he's gonna say the same thing? We late, bro. We are. Late. We are so late. Right now. We'll park up front because we late. Somebody park up front too. All right. 15 minute grace period though. Come on. Come on, professor. Come on. Come on. I didn't even grab my book bag, bro. As long as can, can I make it before 12? Can I make it before 12, bro? What's up, bro? Oh, bro. We don't have class today. Wait, why do you don't have to set dates? You cannot study outside your class days. All right. Wow, after all, we do not have class on a Monday. We have those Monday, Wednesday. Guys, do you guys remember the schedule that we got? Because, I mean, 
let's check again. I remember the schedule was Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, bro. You see how you hurry up all the way over here and you don't have class, bro. All right. It just say 11, 1130 to okay. I, I, I don't know. All right. It is what it is. We'll try again tomorrow. We don't really know our schedule. <laughs> We only have six credit, bro. We need at least 30 credit to at least pass that class. So good luck to us. All right. So I'm not going into those apartments. I'll show you guys that another day. Let's go. Let's go do the stockbroker job and see how everything's going to turn out. But today was a day, man. And also, I want to race with this Hellcat later. As the time is flying, I feel like I don't have enough time, but it, it is what it is, man. Doing our thing. I'm, driving, I'm putting miles on this guy, Hellcat, but it is what it is at this point. But let's see if we can actually make some money. What's going on over here? What in the GTA? Oh, my. Right, I know you guys are probably laughing at me right now. How are you trying to make it to um, school on your day off? <laughs> All right. Um. I think the entrance is on the other side. I gotta load this too. Let's go. Hi. Require a college degree. We do have. I mean, yeah. I'm thinking about Franklin right now. All right. So uh, once we are outside, I guess it kind of changed you. I mean, it, it's almost like real life because you kind of change into a different character when you walk in work. All right, so start working as a penny stockbroker. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing hey, that. Nice car. Nice car. All right, so we in here. All right, this is the character we changed to. Finding customers. Um, so how do we do this? I don't remember this at all. I guess we gotta make some calls. All right, I'll take this desk. How do we can we talk to some of the guys? All right, how do we find customers? Okay, okay, there we go. Stock trading, hello. Are you ready um to become rich? Customer. Hey there. Of course. I am. Get me in. Okay. Now I have a penny stock here called um Molecule <laughs> Data Inc. All right, okay. Tell me more. It is show signal of going very high. Okay. When am I going to be able to um, sell it up? Uh, next Friday in the morning, okay, you will store your your profit. Okay. I'm betting 10K in. 10K in? We just got 10K in, bro. Oh, so we made all profit was five? Okay. What if the stock will go down? Not like you say it will. Uh, do not worry. The only problem you will um, have is if it ain't, um, if you didn't bet higher. <laughs> Okay, man. Counting on your word. Good day. Thank you. Have a great day. Stock trading, LA. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. I forgot about this job, bro. All right. So, yeah, as I was saying, once you walk into your job, I, I mean, I've seen people. You're a whole different character, bro. So, this is the character that we are. We are in the suit. We're doing our thing right now. We are, we are by our desk, culling customers, just like these guys are. You guys look like they probably writing a code or something like that. So, um, oh, there you go. Another call. Stock trading. Uh, LA. Uh, good day, sir. How's it going? Good day. I'm not interested in stock trading. Bye. Oh. And then you get calls like that, too. You get calls like that. But, you, you know, some people really get sad about things like that. You just got to keep it moving, man. That was just one customer. We're just going to keep it moving. We're not gonna we're not gonna be sad about it the whole all day because you're gonna as a stockbroker you get the phone hang up on you all day, bro. All day you get people this is I don't know disrespecting you and all that stuff, but that's part of the job. All right, we got another one, guys. Stock trading LA. Good day, sir. Uh, can we help you become a millionaire? Hey, I'm not interesting. Bye. Another one and another one. DJ Khaled voice. Hey man, we just doing our job. Just doing the job. Is is it time for lunch yet? <laughs> We're not even here that long, bro. These people have been working all day. We're not even here. We haven't been here that long talking about lunch. 
But um, as you guys can see, all right, let's let's get some music going too. All right, can I use some of these computers like for real? Oh, we just making calls. All right, stock um stock trading LA. Good day, um good day, sir. I'm gonna be straight to the subject. You want to be a millionaire? Hi, sorry, man. I prefer climbing on my own. Works finished for the day. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> All right, I gotta put back my outfit. Yo, that was crazy. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool though. Let me know what you guys think about that job. I'm putting back my outfit now. Let's go grab the Hellcat. And uh, I did promise the guys uh, at the forklift job I was gonna pass through, help them out real quick. So let's go move some crate for them. And also, I just realized the game is so bright. But as you guys can see, I am playing straightforward, unless the game crash and stuff like that. That's the only time I don't like GTA, the crashes. If you're willing to deal with the crash, then you, you can actually play GTA. <laughs> but if you're not willing to deal with those crash, bro, it's uh, yeah, it's it become a headache after a while. But once your game is running well, though, you don't have to deal with the crashes like that. All right, so let's go. All right, we're going all the way downtown now. Not even downtown. The industrial area. So, good luck to us. Uh, I'm actually gonna jump on the highway instead of like taking the local roads. Let me see. Best way over there. All right. I heard. I heard they got a new forklift. That most of the new guys. I mean, it's always used to be like that. My job, too, man. They got a new. They got a new system. I gotta figure it out for them. I'm like, yo, don't y'all have the manual, bro? Like, y'all just bought a new thing for the job. Don't you have the manual? Like you know, certain certain um things that companies buy, they uh somebody come in to train whoever at the job. So I always get picked to be the person being trained, and then I gotta teach it to the rest of the crew. I mean, you know, it was pretty cool though. It was pretty cool, but at the same time, I'm like, come on, man. Can you imagine you get calling your day off like you gotta teach everybody? I'm like, bro, come on, man. Oh, somebody else don't know how to use that system. All right, it is what it is. But I did my job, though, man. I did my job. I'm trying to pass um, around this area because I don't know why the game usually crash when I get around Davis. So I'm trying to pass away from Davis right now. I don't know why this version of the game usually crash when I pass like if I pass like right in front of Franklin's um house. So I'm trying to pass through here. But just like I said, guys, we're going for the um, forklift job. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to skip through here. Is it on this side again? Oh, I see. That's why I'm trying to make me turn this way. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. But definitely let me know what you guys think about, like, you know, how the game looks for you guys. I finally got a chance to do like a full mixture because I usually do this for 5M, but I never done this for like single player. So I finally got a chance. Oh, FedEx Home Delivery, I see y'all. Um, I finally got a chance to do it for single player, and uh, I think it looked great. I don't know what you guys think, but definitely let me know, man. Come on, people, get out of my way. All right, so we should be able to do this job real quick, which is going to give me enough time because I really want to race this Hellcat at the um, airport today. Hopefully they won't take my money again, man. Cause that's some quick, easy money. Like this job we're going to right now, we're only making 150 unless we pick another load. But I, I gotta wait till night time, so it is what it is. And I get a chance to test the, the new forklift, so let's see how that's gonna turn out. But we here though, man. We here. Where are they? Okay. Oh, they got a new one. All right, it's a different color too. All right. Oh, shout out to your tellers. I haven't talked to him in a while. I just realized I have um my thing on too. All right, so let's go. Let's do this. That's the new forklift, bro. I thought it was like something completely different. That's the new one. That's it, bro. What's up? Hey, it's the same thing, bro. They work the same way. Whatever. Whatever, dog. All right, I got you though, man. Let's see how this thing works. Yeah, at least this one got a light. <laughs> this one actually got a light, bro. All right, this one got a light. I, I don't mind. I don't mind. All right, I 
Oh, oh, we don't need to be riding with the lights. Though. Come on. All right. Oh, they got me at the same location. I do not like that location, bro. This is always a disaster. Let me see. What do they have? Oh, this is different. This is different. Um, okay. This might be easier. Okay. 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 I thought they had me like, remember the last time? Oh, they have it on the same rail though. Oh, come on, man. Is it away from it? Yeah, it's away from it. All right. It's away from it. This might be easier. All right. Let's make sure we're going to keep our lights on. All right. There we go. All right. We're going to load this thing. By the time it turned dark, um, I think I might be able to do two jobs today. Anybody that know how to drive a forklift in real life, let me know, man. All right. Come on. I can try to mess up the load now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. New forklift, okay. Bro, are you serious right now? Bro, what am I going to tell the manager right now? <laughs> Yo, this was supposed to be 150, bro. All right, all right. So I think I can actually do this with Mania. Bro, can you imagine, though? Can you imagine? Let me see. Rotate. Okay, reset rotation. Bro, that was it. Since this was a GTA glitch, that's why I'm doing this. But what? Can you imagine? <laughs> for your first job, this happened. Bro. Bro, that was not fair, bro. That was not fair. Why is it sounding like as if I'm backing up? Come on, that that noise though. Okay, so yeah, I have to. I'm gonna keep that off. Oh shit, bro! Why does it do that? And it gave me a star. Attack on a vehicle. Just what I need, police. Right. How do I even? Oh my goodness! I gotta use Mania for this. Okay, Copy this glitch just start. I guess because this is a different forklift. Let me see. What about if I turn this on? If I turn this on, I don't think they will arrest me. Are they coming in here, bro? Now I'm running away from the cops. Bro, I hope they can't come in here. I'm doing my job, bro. I'm doing my job. I, I I was about to run away, but can you imagine getting arrested? I've seen a lot of people that get arrested at their job, but that, something that they did outside. Oh shoot, they did come in here. They did come in here, bro. This is not fast enough. If I could hold on, just enough before that cop get to me, bro. Who did this? Bro, 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 bro. Am I going to have to hide in the water, bro? Okay, okay. I don't have to jump in the water. Yo, these cops, is that them? Bro. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. Okay. We good, we good, we good. Wow. On the job, though? This is not fair, man. All right. The new forklift, I guess we have to figure out the, you know, the good spot of it. Where it actually work better, because uh, this ain't it. So it glitched out faster than the other one, which kind of remind me uh, when I used to work for like. Uh, Bitch what you ass bullshit. Why is he pulling me over, bro? I can't catch a break. I can't catch a break, man. I can't catch a break. The cop is pulling me over for what right now? All right, hold up. It's going to get darker, so I have to brighten up my game now. Why am I getting pulled over, bro? This is not fair. I know you guys are probably going to be laughing at me right now. All right, I got a license. I got a forklift license. You were driving against traffic. Bro, this is off road. There's nobody allowed in here. But the people that working, how am I getting a ticket, bro? This kind of remind me of like, you know, getting tickets for like FedEx stuff. Man, I remember those tickets. I used to be so mad about them because I'm like, bro, you know, I'm not I'm trying. I'm like, I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm trying to deliver something like, why are you giving me a ticket, bro? 
that cop really just give me a ticket while I'm on the job, bro. Oh, this thing have an extra light. That's pretty cool. Oh, this one have a light. Some extra lights. All right, let's hope this thing don't glitch again. If it does, uh, we this is not worth 150, bro. All right, we got it this close. All right. All right, is that fair enough? You see, you just got to take it easy, man. You just got to take it easy. Let's just push it a little bit. All right, that's fair enough. Bro, why this job, bro? <laughs> Those cops were not fair at all, man. I mean, I did get a lot of ticket with my FedEx truck, though, because um, the place I used to have to go, like especially the business places, bro. I double park for a second. I come back and, you know, some of these um, those cops that were given tickets, they be doing it so slick. I didn't even see them, bro. I didn't even see them. I come back and find a ticket on the windshield, bro. I'm like, come on, officer. But most of the time you have to pay those, of course. Cause you guys be thinking like, yo, we, we get away with them. No, you don't. I mean, the, the person that owned the route had to pay them, but I usually have to explain why it happened. Oh, shoot. Right, I have to lift it up just a little bit so it won't touch. Yeah. All right. Just got to take it easy. Stop trying to rush the job or you make the job worth more than that 150 that you about to get. Just do your job, man. If you sign up for the job, why sign up if you're not going to do it? <laughs> you know what you sign up for. <laughs> and that's what we're doing right now. We we the only one that know how to operate this. So, talking about operate. So, um when it comes to electronic engineering and stuff like that, I mean, I could take some apart and I mean, rebuild the circuit. Just I have fun with that. So, there was this other person that got hired for the same job and we were working at the same company. And one thing I realized, oh shoot, they were calling me a lot, but I was like, yo, did you lie? Like, did you, do you even have, like, do you understand how this thing worked? Bro, this dude lie on his whole resume. I was like, yo, that's crazy. But I'm like, yo, I'm not going to be the one doing your job though, bro. I was like, no, sir, I'll help you out. I'll explain. I'll teach you things here and there. But when it comes, oh shoot, 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 shoot. All right, we got to lift it up a little bit. No, no, come on. Okay, there we go. Hi. Right. We saved that one. Yeah, so you guys ever had to work with somebody like that? Like somebody that rely on their resume? Like they they act like they know that stuff and then when it comes to the job, they didn't know nothing that would they were they were doing, bro. I'm like, come on man. All right. But in times like that too, I, I just choose to teach the person. That is if the person is nice enough. If they're gonna be rude about it, I'm like, bro, go talk to the manager. I don't get, man, I ain't got it, bro. <laughs> I ain't got it. All right, so, so this is the last one, guys. So we'll get a chance to race real quick. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy my little story time. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, we're gonna try to race these guys. I'm not going back. Not until next time. They probably gonna have to check. Yo, I did the job, bro. I did the job. All right, so let's run straight to the airport. Let's get a quick race. And just like I said, man, I hope you guys are going to enjoy today's episode. That is one thing that I used to do a lot too, man. As crazy as it sounds, and we used to like do like stuff like that, like around um, JFK Airport and stuff like that. If those were like the roads nobody ever on. Like there was never anybody on those roads and you know, not putting nobody else in danger and stuff like that. And they used to be like somebody that block off, you know, the roads and you know, just make sure everybody's good, man. We just have fun with our car. All right now, let's go. Let's go do this. I gotta take this exit. Go around. All right, so I'm, I'm at least if I make this money, it'll be worth it because that 150. I was just trying to kill some time. Let me see like you pick you. You decide to do something just to, you know, just to kill some time or whatever the case is. And you know, you was going to make some money and they end up being something like that because that was a struggle, man. With the new forklift. 
That was a struggle. But it is what it is. I'm thinking about bringing back the other one because that was a disaster. <laughs> oh, I see this Hellcat. But we about to win, bro. We about to win. This thing is fast. About to race some like regular cars, yeah. They here already. They here already. The Benz always get smoked. All right, what's up, man? I'm gonna put up a thousand. Yeah, man. I remember what happened last time, man. It better not be the same case. Time to go crazy. Time to have some fun driving. Hey, calm down. I choose not to take it because I don't want to hit nobody. Yo. Yo, that lady just got run over just like online. All right, I just don't want to hit my car right now. I'm gonna pass y'all. Give me some time. Give me some time. I don't want y'all to hit me because y'all be fighting for position. Like it's that serious, bro. Just some money. He never that serious. Word. Oh shoot! Oh come on! I can't slow down. Wait, daily production. Oh, for that stuff. Yeah. See you later. Oh shoot. We try not to hit our car. It's like a struggle, man. All right, once I leave them, Good night. I'm just gonna be gone. Oh, <laughs> he just hit. He just hit. I feel like this was a fair race, though. Oh shoot. Yep. Stay away from y'all, man. Oh, and you just wow. This into a book. wow. I'll show you guys and see that. Oh, so one mod that I wanted to bring back. Remember when our car get damaged, like right everything now. get totaled? But I don't know, like the uh, race would have been over right now. If that was real life, of course. And the Mercedes right. was trying to prove a point. Yo, yeah, why we why we stuck at 147? 149? Hey, we're going up, but. There's a limit. There's a limit on this cat. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They right there, though. Okay. I thought we were fast, bro. No way. No way. That's the second time. I'm done. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time. I can't believe it, GTA. That's the second time this time. I'm out.